Welcome to the Aero GS channel. I'm your host, Corey Barlotti. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over Ys, combination Ys, and Ts. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have here is I have a corrugated Y on one hand and I have a PVC Y on the other. So the reason you want to always use a Y whenever you are connecting a lateral into your main is because it allows for the water to make a transition a lot more smoother than opposed to using, let's say, a T. Now, T's definitely have their place, but whenever you are connecting into your main line, anytime you're connecting a lateral, you do not want to use a T. Now, let me explain why. Now, whenever you're connecting into your main line, so for example purposes, we have a Y set up, this is our main line, water is gonna be traveling in this direction. So a lateral is any line that is connecting into your main line, we call them laterals. So this section right here would be your lateral. Let's say for example, that this goes off to a gutter downspout drain. The gutter downspout drain, it Ys into your main line. So the reason you wanna use a Y instead of say a T fitting is because that water, when that water is traveling through here, it has velocity to it. It's falling down the gutter downspout and that's picking up speed and then it's traveling through your pipe. Now, when that water comes and it goes to enter your main line, you don't want it to just slam to a stop and then have to continue its path of travel again. You want that water to go as smoothly as possible into your main line. That way, any debris that it might be carrying with it can make a smoother transition into the main line and continue down it. Or let's say somebody is feeding a sewer snake or a sewer camera down this line you want that sewer camera or sewer snake to be able to make a smooth transition down and continue its way down that main line. If you have a T like this and you have the lateral connected into this T, that sewer snake or sewer camera is going to go right through this T and it's going to hit and it's going to come to a stop here. And if you force it hard enough, it's either going to go backwards the way you don't want it to go or it's going to go the way you want it to go or if it's a sewer snake it could bore a hole through the plastic and go into the dirt creating a problem now in your system so that is the first reason why you do not want to use a t to connect the lateral into your main line all right, so here's a close-up of the Y, and as you can see on the inside of it, the transition is a lot more smooth when entering from your lateral into your main line. Now, if you come over and take a look at the T, the inside of the T, it's literally just a straight transition right into a wall right here. You know, that is going to stop water and that is going to stop debris, and it's going to create a choke point in your main line. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about combination Ys. Now, this right here is just a normal Y, but it becomes a combination Y anytime you add another fitting onto it. So, all right, I have a 45 degree angle right here. I have another 45 degree angle right here, except this is called a street 45. It has one hub here, but no hub here, unlike this one that has a hub on both sides. And I also have a 22 and a half degree angle right here. All right, so let's say that you wanna hook in a lateral into this main line. Now water, your water is gonna be flowing in this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a 45 if you wanna get a 90 degree angle here. So you're gonna put a stub into the Y, then you're gonna get your 45 with the hubs on both sides. You're gonna connect that in and what that is doing is creating a 90 degree angle. Now, if you, now we'll use this long term 90 as a reference point. If you line this up on the pipe, you can see that this is a straight line here and it's a straight line here. Hence, we're creating a 90 degree angle to go into our main line. Now, this is also a long term 45, this is another name for it. So, by doing it this way, 
you are allowing that water to transfer into your main line a lot more smoother than if you were to, let's say, use a T where that water is gonna to slam to a stop and then have to start its flow back up again. All right, now let's say the angle of your trench that your lateral is gonna be going in to connect into your main line is not at a 90 degree angle. So the 45 connected into the Y won't work. Now, if you need to get a slightly different angle in that trench, you can always use a 22 and a half. Now, it's basically the same concept. You're going to use the stub out and connect your 22 and a half degree into it, and then that will give you a slightly different angle, but it will also still allow the water to make a smooth transition into your main line. All right, so then that brings us to a Street 45. Now, a Street 45, just basically makes this combination a quicker connection. It makes it easier. So instead of having to use a stub to go into this hub to then connect your 45 with hubs on both ends, you can just use the street 45, which has no hub on this side, and that allows you to connect right into your Y, creating your angle. All right, so that is how combination Ys work when it comes to PVC. Now, corrugated is obviously going to be different. Now, with corrugated, there are less fittings. There's less connections because corrugated pipe, as you know, is flexible. It can bend. So, a corrugated Y is the same concept, though. You have your main line running through here, and whenever you're going to make a lateral, you want to connect in corrugated pipe into your Y. That way it creates a nice sweeping motion instead of using a corrugated T, which I see this a lot. And you know, guys, you don't want to use a corrugated T when you're connecting a lateral in. That's not what these are for. You want to use a Y, just like when you're, you, when you're building with PVC, you use a combination Y. Corrugated, you use a Y as well. Now, obviously you're not going to need 45s or 22s or anything like that to make your bend because corrugated pipe is flexible. So you would just make your bend in the trench with the corrugated pipe at whatever angle you need. Now it is very important to remember when you are building with corrugated pipe, you wanna make sure that you use a good PVC tile tape. This is very important. I never see guys hardly ever using this. There's only a few that I see using this. You wanna make sure that you use a good tile tape. The reason for that is because corrugated tends to always fail at the joints. That's where roots get in. Not only that, but this is going to stop leaks from happening at your joints. So you wanna make sure you get a bunch of wraps around these joints with the tile tape. Now, this is the FDM French drain man pipe. This is what you want to use if you're working residential. This pipe is built for residential. It's tough. You do not want to use something like this that is an agriculture pipe. This is for agriculture. It's for farm fields. All right, so the way this connects in is there's prongs on the inside of these hubs on your corrugated Y, and that just connects when you slide the corrugated pipe in, and it connects inside the ridges, and that's how it holds itself in. But like I said, you wanna make sure you tile tape these joints. All right, so where do T's come into play at? So T's are typically used for clean outs. Now, this T has a threaded hub, so it can actually accept a threaded plug onto it. That way you have access to your system. So that is usually what T's are for. Now, with a corrugated T, if you wanted to make a clean out with it, best way to do it is to just use a grate, pop a grate in there, and now you have an access point into your system as well as a surface drain. Now this would make a small four inch surface drain to collect surface water. Now you can do the same exact thing with the PVC tee. It will also accept the four inch grate and it creates another access point that you can access your system. But that typically is what the T's are used for, is to either make an access point for your system with a drain plug, or to make a small circle drain that also acts as an access point but will collect surface water. 
So another common thing that T's are used for is to dump water into a larger main line. Now this right here is a six inch by six inch by four inch T. And this would be your main line. It would be a six inch main line with the water running in one direction. And then if you wanted to dump water into this six inch main line from another lateral, you would just simply add either a 90 degree angle or in this case, a street 45. And you could put the line like that and then the water would go and dump into from this lateral dump into this main six inch line. So that is another way that T's are commonly used. So another thing that we use T's for, if you watch our channel, you probably already know this, but we use what we call a percolation T. So the way this works is at the end of your discharge point on your drainage system, where your pop-up emitter is going to be, we put a T fitting like this, and we put that in the ground like so with our drainage line. Let's see if we get a piece of pipe in here with the end of our drainage line connected into it. And the way this works is we put stone and geofabric underneath this portion of the T at the bottom. So when your system is running and all the gutter water is being dumped into the lateral lines, the catch basins are catching their water or a French drain is collecting its water, all that water makes its way into this main line, travels down that main line, and with the velocity, that water is going to go up and it's going to push that pop-up up, up and the water is going to flow out into the desired area. Then once the rain event has ended and the system has a chance to dry out, all the water that remains in this line is going to travel to the end and it's going to perk, it's going to leach down into the, the soil through the drain rock and through the geofabric. That is why we use a T at the end of our line opposed to an elbow with a couple of slits at the bottom of the elbow. That way this entire drain line can drain out and you have a four inch opening that is not going to get clogged up with sediment or debris or anything like that. So it will always allow the end of that drain line to drain out completely and not hold any water. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge on why we use combination wise and tease the way we use them. And I wanna keep bringing you these videos explaining the reason we use the things we use in our systems. And until next time, this is Arrow GS signing off. Thank you.